So communication suite. On today's agenda, we're going to take a look at a few things. First, permissions. Then we're going to talk through the new communication suite. We're actually going to create an email. And then finally, we'll take a look at creating templates. All right, so there are there is a new permission available inside Double Knot. It's called Communication Suite, and it has both a read and an administrator. Um, below is, is the difference between the two, but essentially they have the same access except for an administrator will have access to templates and people and transactionals. Um, and the, the really important one there is being able to create templates. Um, because you can be able to, as, as we'll see as, as we get further in, you'll be able to create a, a template that you're able to reuse over and over and make changes without actually impacting the, the template itself. So um, creating templates is going to be a great new, new way to be able to handle emails. So let's dive into the demo. All right, so this is one of our test environments. Um, the communication suite is available through the feature list or will be available in the feature list once you have permissions. And this is the new landing page and we're gonna walk through each of, each of what we're looking at um, and then create an email from it. So along the top, we do have some quick links. Uh, email management is the landing page that we're on right now. List management is a feature that we're still working on, but it essentially will be the ability to manage all the different types of lists. So uh, saved searches, positions, group lists and program groups, you'll be able to manage them all from one place versus right now it's kind of spread throughout Double Knot. Insights is some additional reporting available with the communication suite. Automations is one of the advanced features which allows for automatic emails with subscriptions. And then reports, which actually will bring us to the communication center reports, which are still available with communication suite. Here we have the filter box. It is search um, type searchable. So if I want to look for all the emails I've uh, email campaigns I've done for Father's Day, I can be able to search which ones I've drafted and sent and see them. There is a drop down here to be able to see draft, sent, or scheduled statuses. Um, and then there's a My Messages. So if you only want to be able to view the messages you've created, that option is still there. And then there is a clear filter on the right side to make it quick and easy. Below, we see the campaign email grid. Um, and this is going to give us the campaign name, the email name, which happened to be the same for all of these. And then we have the statuses. And depending on the status, you'll actually have different options available in the ellipses. So for a drafted email, campaign, we're looking at an edit campaign, gift information, updating recipient lists, or deleting. We have similar options for a scheduled email, editing the campaign, edit gift information, and deleting. You can't edit the recipients because the recipient list is already determined for it since it's a scheduled email. <coughs> Excuse me. And then with a sent email, you can either copy, which will create a copy of that email, um, or insights, uh, which again is some further uh, reporting options available with communication suite. If we scroll down, we are able to see um, you can change the number of emails available on the grid as well as there's pagination to be able to kind of filter through and, and search through your emails. The subscriber list section is showing you the recipient lists for the email emails above. So we can see my weekend safety announcement recipients happens to only have one right now. And it's associated to this email and I can just tell that because it has the same name. Uh, automations, once we learn more about those, um, this will show you what automations are currently running in your environment. So to create an email, we're going to use this create a campaign and there are two options. There's from source data and from scratch. From source data allows you to pull registration information from the event into your email whereas my scrap from scratch is a blank template. So we're going to create one from source data though. This will bring up a wizard, which allows us to be able to search our various uh, assets inside the environment. Um, there is once again, a, a search field to be able to search by name. You can search by source types or activity or sorry, or asset is another way to think about it, but there are different options here and then uh, there is a past and then past and future option. So you can be able to look for events in the future as well. Um, I'm going to use this golf challenge one. 
calendar activity. Here I'm able to aim, name my campaign. Now, if I name it something that I've named previously in the environment, when I select continue, it'll actually give an error stating that it needs to be a unique name. So campaign names do need to be unique. And there we see that error. And then you're able to select your recipients from here as well. Um, so if I wanna be able to select the recipients or the registrants for my event, I can go to events, search for my event again. And if I actually have the calendar activity, you can include the waitlisted individuals because it's automatically not going to include waitlisted individuals, which is a major change from the communication center. Um, in this case, I'm not going to include the, the waitlist uh, recipients. So I'll add these to my, my list and hit continue. You can choose to do your recipients at a later time as well. So you're not required to do it at the beginning. And if you're emailing a program, you can get down to emailing separate session events individually as well. All right, and here we can be able to set up our remaining aspects of the email we're creating. Um, we can be able to edit your subject line. So if you didn't want it to say two, you can be able to go ahead and exclude that since you wouldn't necessarily want to email that to someone. You're able to change who the sender from is, as well as have a different email address for those replying. Um, I'm going to point out that this has a zero, but it's going to change in just a moment. Um, it, it has to have some time to, to refresh in the back end. So while that's refreshing, we're going to go ahead and edit our email itself. So as you can see, all the, the registration information from the event has actually come over into this email editor. And you can edit from here if you wanted to. Um, you can be able to make small changes and, and whatnot and to the text. But what I would recommend and where you get the biggest bang for your buck on the new communication suite is I'm going to copy the, the registration details that I want, select cancel, and I'm going to change my template. Now here, the ones I'm, I've used the most is reuse past email and use template. Those seem to be the most applicable for um, our uses in double knot. So I'm going to use a template that I previously created. And I can select my template. <clears throat> and now from here, I can drag and drop images, change text, and be able to do whatever I want to this email. And I'm actually not going to impact the original template at all. This is going to be the email that I'm sending out. So I'm going to remove my text placeholder. Go ahead and make this centered so it looks pretty. I can be able to add an image easily. So add a selection. I want a large image. Uh, and we'll, we'll just pick a picture to be able to add to the bottom. <clears throat> and then it's up here. And then if I want to be able to move it, I can do that as well. Uh, if I need to crop it, there's a crop option. So we can make lots of different changes that are very quick to do inside the email editor. Um, and we're done cropping. And then I could be able to send this out if I wanted to. We can even preview this so we have an idea of what this looks like in the email itself, as well as what it's going to look like on a mobile device. All right, and now we see that the, the email has updated with my five recipients, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, when I wanna send an email, I can prepare to send. I can either send the email out immediately or I can schedule for later. And then this will all, you can set up the time and the date that you want this sent out. And even you can specify to the time zone. So if you wanted to do some staggering time zones or something, you could be able to do that. One of the nice other perks is you actually get an email receipt whenever an email goes out. So I've put my own email address in here. And then when golf, my golf challenge to email campaign is sent out to my five recipients, I will actually get an email receipt in my inbox stating that that's gone out, which is really nice for scheduled emails. Um, it does it for both immediately and scheduled, um, but I have found it, it extremely helpful with my schedule. So I know that they actually went out. 
One thing to note though, the receipt emails do not include the contents of the original emails that were sent. It is a very simple block text that says your email has been sent and this is the number of recipients. The other place I wanted to show you is the templates, which I think is a really great new feature. So I've gone back just to campaigns and along this top, I'm looking at my templates. And we can see the different templates I've created inside this environment. But if I want to create a new one, or if I want to even edit one, you can select the gear and select edit. But we'll go ahead and create a new template. We have the same choices. We can either choose from a previous design, recent email. So say you create this beautiful email that you absolutely love how it, how it came out. You can actually go to your recent email and select that as your new template and make changes. So here's the, that golf challenge that I was just creating. So I can actually create a template from a previous email. We'll do from scratch here. Um, and it's the exact same editor that we were looking at before, and we can be able to create whatever we want this to look like. Um, and that can be a variety. I've, I've, I've made large newsletters where you can just drag and drop your content, um, or you can be able to create uh, a smaller template like we saw with the announcement one that I had. But there is all sorts of flexibility in what you can be able to do, and then you can still be able to preview your template. So we can make these real quick. And then preview, and then we're able to see what this is going to look like, which did not come out very well. There it goes. There we go. Um, so there's our image and the text that we have here and what it's going to look like on the template. And then we could be able to save the template however, whenever name we wanted. This concludes our introduction to the communication suite. If you have any questions, please contact our support team at support at doublenot.com or call 1-888-839-8150. If sending in an email, please provide us with as much information as possible so that we can better assist you. Thank you.